Okay, hello. My name is Thomas Niemann. Little name is Schlumpf, and I'm going to tell you something about the uh, new Atari STP expansion. What? We have done a little schedule. Uh, I'm going to go to the bar. So, I the most important, some graphs for my uh, I said my name is Thomas Niemann, my nickname is Schlamp, and this is where the name came from. I was searching for a nickname, uh, originally for World of Warcraft, and all names he could be already used. And I found in the process with a comic script, and I like to meet also, so I will name this Schlamp from there on. I'm from Germany, so please excuse my okay, English, and I'm still <laughs> Polish. It's a shame I didn't understand it, but <laughs> from the beginning, it's yeah, very But I'm still trying. Okay. Um, I was brought in quite great. And I'm no coder, no musician, no graphics designer. So I'm going to ask why I am even here before. I like how the game scene is putting the ball of us further and further away from the It was originally extended, uh, extended and uh, it belongs to demos, software coding, but it is like the same for additional hardware. So we can nowadays do something we could never do in our space. Um, it is not my board. In fact, I was not the one who did anything to it. It was made by the thunderstorm, Thunderstorm, and these are the guys, may you know some of them or one of them. Uh, some may know Taxi from a Jerry film, or Christian, who was one of the guys involved in language was. And the entire extended team are responsible for a couple of hardware uh, extensions in the past few years. So they made USB additional board for the Mega ST and TT. They made a board for uh, TT Fast to run with standard PS2 level or even an IDE device connector for the TT. They also did something for the ST, the Lightning ST, uh, with the additional boards Cloud and Storm ST, so you get a whole stack of boards together <laughs> to get these quite most risk functions. I think. But it was some kind of promotion to install. And so basically, they put all of this together, designs in each Christopher. And what it's all about, we we'll see in the next pages. <laughs> this one, I think it's great. So it shows they have really busted. If you take a Look at the bottom of the board. It is called the 1000 Western STE USB from Aram RTC Boost Adapter. It's quite a long name, um, but basically, this is all you can get from it. Well, as I said, just, just turn your STE into a mega ST for less cost. And we still have to enhance the choice of the board. Okay, I was told to do a uh, lot in much text uh, presentation or uh, sheets, but uh, I've highlighted the red or um, the key functions of the Twister uh, uh, pod. So, um, first of all, it fits in the ST. So, if you can extend the board and just close the ST, uh, it still looks nice. One thing you have to modify or just to remove the shielding. Yeah, the additional board in some space. 
Um, you will get tank imports, you will get US imports, you will get enlisted new. So you can use the 68,000 or 8 megahertz or new and 16 megahertz, like the mega ST. And this board has also a 6820 processor, which you can switch between 8 and 24 megahertz, giving it. Um, to switch between the CPUs and the megahertz, you can use it by setting the jumper or extend the jumper to the switch outside. Uh, but you can also change the megahertz by software switch. And yeah, we want one of the nice things as well to return the But that's not it gives you a whole lot of more possibilities, so you can use the Pico ATE power supply to fire up your SD and just remove the original power supply. That will give you much more space within the SD. And um, we will show you what you can do with the additional space from now on. And it gives you 8 megabytes of alternate RAM and 4 switchable toss ropes. Uh, in my configuration, you can take a look if you want. There's a TOS 1.62 and a TOS 2.06. An menu TOS and an menu TOS in Polish language. But I can't read it. Just to show. <laughs> um, these are specs I really don't understand what they are. And this is a price. I think on the first side, this is a lot of money, but if you take a look how much a mega ST will cost, it's quite cheap. Um, some schematics, I think it's a very nice bone design. Um, on the left side, the blue one is the mid time clock. Um, we do already can see the connectors. And it gives you the, as I told the high power supply interface, the EV interface. There are the jumper settings, which you can extend to the outside of the SD if you want. Uh, four flashable toss ramps, uh, toss ramps. And uh, those processors are switchable between 86,000 and 86,000. Or you could even use USB connection for USB storage, USB mice, USB in the long run, everything. Drivers included. Um, this is my ST, ST. Um, I just took a photo of it. I do not use a PyCore extension as I've just installed a new power supply, uh, but to could do it. And I'm going to show you what is needed to install this device. It's quite easy. In fact, you only need four soldier points. And I'm going to show you. What you basically have to do is to remove your, 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 your 68,000 processor of the board and just plug the crystal board in the process socket. That's all you need to do at first. Um, so just the first short blue line, put out, put out the processor, put it in the ST board. And uh, this is what it looks like when the board is connected to the socket. Um, we should remove the clips, just in case there's a power shortage or something. This is the first solar point. You uh, use the white cable to this resistor and just solar it. This is the second one. Um, I think you know this uh, resistor is fortunate. If you try to install a TOS 2.06, I think. Um, and you need to connect the yellow cable to this one. That's the second solar point. And um, you should use a little glitter fix. I don't know the specifications behind this, but this is needed uh, to run the system stable. The blue is more stressed by uh, megahertz rates. And um, they already are also providing this resistor for the clip signal. So, solar point, three and four, that's all.
stick it for all at once, and you are finished. I did some benchmarks. Um, I think you all know GameBench if you're using STs, and um, I think it's quite impressive what you can get with this little board. Um, and the average 273 percent of performance gain, and some some other specifications about uh, benchmarks or something. Um, this is a valid question. Why do you put a 68,020 processor, not a 6830 processor? Uh, the answer is um, it's out of front. And uh, the, the performance gain is not so much. No. But this is, a, this is a real answer, I think. Um, the processor needs to be switched between the 68,000 and the 68,000 20, processor um, by the hardware jumper. So uh, I don't like it, but I will get a little hole with a little switch. And this is one of the really good width because I don't want to open this every time I want to change this. Um, there are little programs provided by the driver disk, and with these programs, you are able to switch the megahertz by software. As I said before, 68,000 up to 60 megahertz, and to 68,070 by uh, 24 megahertz at max. And there is an additional little problem where you can software select the TOS, the TOS you have installed. It's even flashable. It's quite easy if you can do it as as you want with other just ones you might like to try. And uh, just pressing one to four, the SD will boot and just use the just version. It's quite easy and quite nice. Um, the topic. It's just the same for using the Mega SD, I think, and searching for the killer application. So, um, I like to play around with this hardware and I'm still searching for something that really gains performance of this. And um, I own this board for about two or three weeks until now. So, the only thing did not have much time to try, but uh, I can assure you that the little front shot is very, very fast with this board. Um, with the SCAMP VM, we know it by playing. Monthly Island 1 or 2, or there's a tentacle, or a db 7 x It's a uh, less optimized version. We're using the Twister board with 68,020 processor, and it's really nice, really fast. Um, I was told the best of this Mac emulator runs in the stock ST is Twister board. And um, I was checking with Seonat, who was so nice to do a uh, patched version of the ST Nick demo and it gains about 30 seconds from the main part, so the CD part, about 30 seconds faster than Stock ST. Um, these advantages, uh, I was hoping Red was quite nice with it also, but it's not usable because of uh, the new system is using some kind of cache technologies. And uh, it doesn't work with this. And most full screen demo effect, I think it's a timing issue or something, just doesn't, just doesn't work. So, why I'm doing this here, we need you, demo scene. Devices, use it, use the power to create better, even better effects. And, um, some advertising at last. Um, content for Twister, just scan the QR code or write an email to the Thunderstorm team at TaxiDE. Um, the second one, I'm doing this over here. If you like to support Brave for this great event and like a summer edition tourist, um, you can buy him coffee and support him if you want. And I am going to make a video of the Twister. This, uh, on my little YouTube channel is, is extremely unprofessional, but maybe informational. So uh, take a look currently at my YouTube channel in the next days. 
I think I would go with you about it, Mr. Hart. And that's it. That's it. Thank you. Thank you.